المدير الفني البلجيكي توم ساندفيت وهو طبعا صاحب خبرات كبيره جدا في القاره السمراء وهو المدير الفني حاليا لمنتخب جامبيا لو كان جاهز مستر ساندفيت هيكون معانا بعد قليل بدات الاختبارات بالفعل معانا على الهاتف المدير الفني البلجيكي توم ساندفيت مستر ساندفيت فيرست اوف اول ثانك يو فور اكسبتنج تو بارتيسيبيت ويز اس توداي You are welcome. Thank you, uh, Mr. Sandfit. How do you see the technical level of competition and of performance through the national teams uh, competing through the championship? Yeah, there are some some teams who are surprised and some teams who are disappointing. Uh, mm -hmm. So we expected, I think, more from the host from uh, Egypt, but even also a team like Morocco, we expected more of them. Mm -hmm. On the other side, some other teams uh, surprised also tactically. Uh, they think about Madagascar is maybe the, the biggest surprise in the tournament. And, and even for me now, I expect that Tunisia reached the semi-final could be also a surprise. I expected a few stronger countries. But it's a very interesting tournament. Mm. Uh, and I think uh, the strong teams like Algeria, Senegal, Nigeria, who everyone expects to be uh, in the semi-final, they are at the moment there. So uh, it will be a very interesting uh, final uh, matches. Mm. So you think that the four runners up to the semi-finals deserve it? Uh, before the tournament, I said Egypt would be my biggest favorite to become champion. First mm. of all, Egypt had a very strong team mm. uh, with some very good strong, uh, star mm. players, plus playing at home, mm. uh, the circumstances were there to perform. So for mm. me, Egypt was my biggest favorite. But also Algeria, I mm. played with Gambia in the qualification twice against Algeria. Draw. Algeria was for me a very strong team. And Senegal after the World Cup plus Nigeria are also strong teams. So for me, the only surprise is, is Tunisia in the semi-final, and I expected Egypt uh, to be in theory the champion. But for the rest, I think it's uh, yeah, it's, it's more uh, what we could expect. Maybe yeah. Morocco disappointed also, but they have maybe lack of a good striker, and that was their problem. Yes, Mr. Sanford, would you please allow me to take a few seconds for translation? المدرب البلجيكي توم سانفيد بيقول انه كان بيتوقع وفريقه المفضل في هذه البطوله في المنتخبات الافريقيه كان منتخب مصر من المشاركين في البطوله لعوامل كثيره تتعلق بقوه وشهره والصيت الذائع للمنتخب المصري ووجود بعض النجوم المؤثرين جدا وعامل الارض والجمهور واستضافه البطوله عشان كده بيقول قبل ما تنطلق البطوله كان فريقي من وجهه نظري الاقرب الى حصد اللقب او الى المنافسه على اللقب هو المنتخب المصري وبالنسبه له كان مفاجئ الخروج المبكر لهذا المنتخب على ارضه وبين جماهيره ومع نجومه المميزين زي النجم الكبير محمد صلاح وبعض عناصر القوى الفنيه في صفوف المنتخب، لكن بيقول ان المنافسه فنيا صعبه جدا، البطوله قويه جدا فنيا من وجهه نظره، وبيقول ان الفرق طبعا تستحق اللي صعدت واجتهدت حتى لو كان في بعض الفرق كان ادائها في المرحله الاولى مش مقنع او ليس جيدا، ولكنها طورت من ادائها وهم يستحقوا المنافسه على اللقب من خلال وصولهم الى نصف النهائي. مستر سانفورد هاو Do you see the match being played now? It's not over yet between Senegal and Tunisia. Senegal leading the game by the result 1-0. How do you see the chances of both national teams? Yeah, but like I said, for me, Senegal is a very strong team. They are physically strong. They have uh, in, uh, te technically and physically good players, played a good World Cup already. And for me, it's not a surprise to see them there. For me, Tunisia uh, was the biggest surprise, but they played tactically very good under the guidance of uh, Alain Giresse, the coach. Uh, they don't concede easy goals. They have a very good organization, uh, and, 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 and they played well. But now it's uh, currently 1-0 for, for, for Senegal, so I think it could be the end of, of Tunisia. Uh, I think Senegal has, has more quality, individual quality, more physical quality, uh, more power than, than Tunisia. But Tunisia played tactically a very good tournament. They had a lot of draws. They were a little bit lucky also, but they played tactically very good discipline. I think uh, Tunisia got the maximum out of their uh, players. Uh, and, and it was a surprise for me to see them in the semifinal. I think now in the last minutes of, of this game, I, I think Senegal is going to make it uh, to, to, to the final. مستر سانفيد بيقول انه السنغال من وجهه نظره فريق متكامل فنيا على المستوى الفردي والجماعي والتكتيكي والخططي وبيقول البدء الجانب البدني كمان متميز جدا عندهم وعلى مستوى الافراد المميزين فنيا بيعتقد انه من وجهه نظره الفنيه هو من اقوى منتخبات البطوله ويستحق التاهل للمباراه النهائيه وبيقول ان المباراه في اللحظات او الدقائق الاخيره وانه بيتوقع ان تحسمها السنغال ومنتخب السنغال متقدم بهدف نظيف على الجانب الاخر بيقول المنتخب التونسي كان من اكبر مفاجات البطوله اداؤه ما كانش مقنع في البدايه لكن عد 
بيبدل من شكل أداءه الخططي والتاكتكس الخاصة بأداء المنتخب التونسي وبالفعل كان مفاجئ أنه يتطور بهذا الشكل خلال مشوار أو سيناريو البطولة ويصعد للسيمي فاينال بيقول استحق عن جدارة بعد تعديل الأمور الفنية التأهل لنصف النهائي So you expect Senegal to be uh, a partner or one of the two national teams in the final game So tonight, uh, 9 o'clock, Cairo time We're talking about another competition, another semi-final game between uh, Algeria and uh, Nigeria tonight. Who has the better chances uh, from your own point of view and why? Yeah, there are two different styles of playing. Nigeria is a physical, strong team mm. uh, with, with players with a lot of power. Mm. Uh, we're a little bit uh, lucky in the, in the first round. They didn't perform that well, but after that, after beating Cameroon, 3-2, uh, they came more in the tournament. Mm. Nigeria is always favorite. But for me, uh, before the tournament, like I said, Egypt was my main favorite. My second favorite was Algeria. Mm. Algeria has a very good team. Uh, Jamal Belmadi, the coach of Algeria, created a very good discipline, good organization. Mm. And with players like Mahrez, Ona, Slimani, and all the other players, mm. uh, for me, Algeria is a very strong team. They look very, um, very consistent as, as, as playing together fighting for a dream, uh, and I, I believe that Algeria are going to be uh, together with Senegal in the final. You expect the final between Senegal and Algeria? Yes. And who has better chances to win the championship? I believe, I believe this is the time for Algeria. I believe first it was Egypt, but I think it's a North African uh, team uh, who's going to become champion, and uh, I would go for Algeria. I, mm -hmm. I was... Before the tournament, like I said, I was going for Egypt, but now when Egypt is out, then I believe that Algeria has the best opportunity to become champion of Africa this time. Yes. I'm sorry to, wake, uh, to keep you waiting again for more few seconds for translation. Uh, Mr. Sanford said that the country of the Gazaari is the second best country from his point of view.